told the world they would get to Moscow, and now they've got there. Over 57,000 German soldiers captured by the Red Army in one campaign in White Russia. Only a part of the total number taken at such famous places as Vitebsk, Minsk, Babruisk. They were to march through Moscow between two stations, part of their journey to prison camps. many German generals to lead the procession. <laughs> Lieutenant General Miller, commanding the 4th German Army. Major General Hamann, German commandant of the garrison of Babruis, former commandant at Orel. Major General von Hetmandorf, commandant of Mogilev. Major General Klamath, commanding the 260th Infantry Division. General Feldkers, commanding the 27th German Armoured Corps. General Galwitzer, 53rd Armoured Corps. Major General Engel, 45th Infantry Division. Major General Schmidt, head of the 9th Army Engineer Service. 19 German generals altogether. Now they are to march as captives along the streets of Moscow through which they hope to march in triumph. was a Red Army General. A sorry collection of brigands they look, watched by the people of Moscow whom they were planning to enslave. So ends for them another German dream of conquest. This in the east of Europe compares with what British and Americans are doing to German armies in the west. Imagine for yourself what would you be doing today if Germans had marched victoriously in Moscow and in your own city or town or village. Make up your mind now that Germany shall never be given the chance to try again and sweep your streets as they swept the streets of Moscow. Thank you.